let's talk about the presentation mode in XMind Pro. Now, because this is a part of XMind Pro, this isn't part of the free version of XMind. You either have to have XMind Pro or the XMind subscription. Now, that being said, this is one of the features where I would say this is going to make you want to, or should hopefully make you want to, pick up something like XMind Pro. One of the reasons why I really like it is that it lets you take stuff right from inception all the way to completion in one program. These days, everyone's seen a million different PowerPoint presentations, and then, yeah, that's kind of passe, right? It's they're still fine, but why not try something a little bit different, and that way you don't have to sit there and spend hours making your slides. This thing can look kind of cool, and it's right there. It gives all the information. Let me just show you a little bit about what it looks like, okay? But I think it's actually a pretty classy way to look at things. You can spend your time, and if you've maybe changed how your, your mind map looks, because you can adjust the look of the mind map, when you present it, it's going to look just like that, only kind of highlighted. It, really what it does, it lets you go full screen and it highlights exactly what, what you're on right now. So I'm going to flip into it really quick. The way to get into it is you can use the F5 key. You can go into view and then start presentation just like that. And then the last way would be to use the toolbar shortcut which is the little button that looks like a monitor right beside the brainstorming feature right there. The presentation will start with the main topic of your overall map and it'll go through each of the subcategories point by point by point. I'm going to show you something that's going to make your life so much easier, right? We're going to go back to presentation mode, and I'm going to use a feature called Drill Down. I'm going to go ahead and click on F6 to drill down. And that may just make sure that that node I was working on is now the new main node. So once I'm in here, you can see that now, really, I only have these categories. I have got five categories now, five subcategories of presentation mode, and that's all that people are going to see. As opposed to you trying to go through your large mind map, pick exactly what needs to be shown in the presentation and then drill down to that level and then go ahead. So I'm going to hit F5 and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So you'll see first of all it's done one thing. It's gotten rid of everything else. It's nice and bright in the middle and it's zoomed way in. The zoom is automatic so as far as I know there's no way you can adjust, adjust the zoom but usually it's a decent zoom. In order to control it I'm just going to use the right key on my keyboard. I'm going to hit right and it's going to show me the first node down. As I move through, I can hit down, and it's going to take me to the next node. This is designed so that you can sort of sneak and see what's coming if in case you've forgotten. For instance, here, watch me hover over the next node down, so I can see what it is. If I want, all I'm going to do is I'm going to hit right, because I'm still expanding to that side. I can hit right, and that'll make us have a look at it. If I don't want to have a look at that, I can just completely close things. As I go through, down, I can choose how deep I want to go. And by, again, by sort of cheating and seeing what's potentially coming, I can choose what I want to show and what I don't want to show. It's a nice, minimalistic view of what's happening in your presentation. I definitely like it. It's unique. It's different. You can, if you want, put images in as well. There's nothing wrong with putting images in. Like you see, I've, I've attached some images. You can make them larger, smaller. It's completely up to you. If you don't want to use your keyboard, that's fine as well. I'm just trying to show you all the different options. There's actually a whole section of presentation mode controls. It's fairly self-explanatory, but in the XMind cheat sheet, I went through and just listed everything out. So let's go back in here quick, and I'll show you how to get into the presentation mode controls. All we really need to do is just go down near the bottom of the screen, bring my mouse down near the bottom of the screen, and they just magically appear. We can go to the next one by going down, or we can go deeper by going down by pressing to the right. The other thing we can do is we can, there's a sidebar you can choose. So it'll call up the sidebar and you can find out exactly where you are and click on a link to go exactly wherever you need to go. I can hide the sidebar again. You can choose to, to turn on or off the highlighting. It's kind of nice to have it on. And if you do play around with the zoom, I'll just let you know, you can zoom back out, but when you move to the next one, I'll just show you, I'll go down to the next, it's going to zoom right back in. So you can temporarily zoom out, but there's no way to permanently control the zoom level of what you're doing. I'm going to quit presentation, and there you go. A really cool feature, I'll get back out of this. The presentation mode in XMind Pro, a really neat feature, saves you tons of time, it's going to make you look kind of cool I think as well, and a way to let you use one program from inception to completion and help turn you into a productivity rock star. If you found this video useful, get the cheat sheet. It's an XMind workbook filled with tutorials, videos, and links, and all sorts of cool stuff. Imagine that, using XMind to help you use XMind. You can get it by following the link below. All I ask in exchange is that you give my newsletter a chance. Thanks for watching.